episode one. Right now we're gonna wash our hands. Remember, before you cook, always wash your hands. So the first thing you want to do, William, is put your hands in the graham crackers. Uh, these are real graham crackers, and you're going to crunch them all up really well. So crunch them up, put them in a bowl. And while you're doing that, I'm going to melt some butter. probably about a quarter cup of butter in that so that way you can actually break up the uh, graham crackers but yet it gets that moisture so when we get ready to put it in the pie pan and pack it it's all ready okay so what are we gonna do now next we're gonna mold with the graham crackers. okay my hands are clean and yours are clean so we're just gonna press the graham crackers down and we want to get it all the way to the sides so that way we make a nice pie shell and we want it smooth. That's right, nice and smooth. And notice that there's a little divot, so when we put the filling in, it's good to go. Now, something that I would recommend that we do at this point is put this in the oven mm -hmm. for about 15 uh, to 20 minutes, okay. and, but we'll check it just until it actually starts to uh, sort of get a little bit more solid and brown up just a little bit. Does that sound like a good idea? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, that's not even 15, I would say probably make more like 10 minutes, 10, 10 or 15 minutes, but we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. So let's get that done. So go ahead and we're gonna put this next in the oven. Next we're gonna next. start making the filling for the pie. Okay, so how do we start this? We're gonna start with um, our cream cheese, which you wanna have at room temperature. So you go ahead and sit down on your stool and I'll pass these to you. I'll be your sous chef, okay? So we're gonna put our cream cheese in. Good. And you have clean hands, because you just washed them. Mm -hmm. And then after the cream cheese, uh, well, what we wanna do is put this down and then you're gonna let our uh, mixer put it on low sort of break the cream cheese up a little bit so it can get nice and soft. All right, turn it up a little bit to the second level. There we go. All right. And that what's really interesting about this stand mixer that you're using, this stand mixer we've had for about 10 years, but it's about 50 years All right, old. So now that we've mixed up the uh, cream cheese and it's nice and soft, uh, let's show the folks what this looks like. So you want it to get to that consistency where it's nice and soft and fluffy. And we're gonna just simply add our ingredients. So we're gonna start with our star ingredient, which is peanut butter. So you go ahead and uh, scoop the peanut butter out and put it inside the bowl and I'll hold this for you. Okay. I'll try to get as much of it as you can. And folks, just so you know, we used about a cup of peanut butter. Yeah, this might actually help too. You see this little thing, you can scrape it just like that and that'll help get it off of the uh, spoon a little bit more. You got it almost all, you got almost all of it. So I'll just finish this up for you and then you can put that in the bowl. All right, there you go, sir. All right, good. Now, the next ingredient uh, that you will 
be putting in for those folks who are watching, you will notice here's another item that looks like peanut butter. See that? Doesn't it look like peanut butter? Yes. It's called wow butter, which is actually, uh, it's not peanut butter at all. It's uh, peanut butter substitute. And what I really like, for people who can't eat peanuts, this is a good ingredient to use. So you can go ahead and put that in. This is a good ingredient to use in lieu of peanut butter. But I find that it's not um, the best tasting by itself. It really has to have real peanut butter in it. But I like the consistency of the pie once it's done, when it does have that in there. All right, so your next ingredient, Herr Chef, is to pour in your vanilla extract. So we have about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Good. And then after that, we are going to put in cinnamon, about a tablespoon of cinnamon. So go ahead and put that in. Excellent. And after that, uh, we are going to add our sweetener. Now, because I am a diabetic, um, I can't have a lot of sugar. Now, obviously we know that peanut butter itself uh, has a lot of sh natural sugars in it. Um, so for the sweetness aspect, I use Truvia instead of regular uh, sugar. So you can go ahead and add that, sir. And how many packages of Truvia? Good idea. This actually was a uh, half cup, a half cup of sugar. If you're using regular sugar, you might want to use a whole cup, but for Truvia or Splenda or any of those sugar substitutes, a uh, half cup is, is sufficient. Now, here is where we get to the funky secret ingredients. Uh, one, believe it or not, is sugar-free vanilla pudding. So you can go ahead and scoop that all in there. Hold it over the bowl so it doesn't fall, which is what I was just suggesting. Okay, this is a mishap that happens. Yeah, so make sure whenever you are putting anything in, it's always directly over the bowl itself, never along the side, because you'll wind up um, spilling it. Good, all right, and remember, that's good. And remember the little trick, if you have some left on the spoon, you just scrape it right off the spoon by using this attachment here. Okay, good, all right, and Next, this is something that is really, really secret. I'm, actually, I know you can't see me because I wanted to focus on him, but it's a secret, secret ingredient. Uh, and that is a delicious cream cheese, homemade cream cheese uh, frosting, but it really is uh, a nice filling that I made for um, the cake that he made yeah. last week. You made a pound cake. Yeah, and tell them how good this is. Tell them what you wanted to do. I wanted to eat it, but not the cake. Yeah, he preferred to eat just the frosting and not the cake as much. But he did enjoy the cake, though. All right, so you're going to go ahead and you're going to spoon that all in. And while you're doing that, I'm checking on our crust, which is almost done. It smells wonderful. Always over the bowl. Remember, always over the bowl. There you go. Excellent. Okay, good job. All right. Do you have stuff on your hands? Go ahead and wipe them off. And I'll just grab this little teeny tiny bit out of here. And then, folks, that is it. Very simple ingredients to make the filling for the pie. So go ahead. Put it on, start it on the lowest, and we're gonna let that do its magic for a few moments. And when it starts to look like it's blending a little bit more, then turn it up to the next level. And while you're doing that, I will pull our uh, filling from the oven. All right, at this point, you can turn it up to three. Yeah, but that's why you use the spoon to pull it down. All right, turn her all the way up. Let her go. Okay. She's getting there. Now, we're going to 
let's stop it just for a moment because as you can see, this is the consistency thus far. We're gonna push this off of here and then I'm gonna take the bowl and I'm going to sort of turn and, because this is kind of hard, so this is my daddy's doing it. But I'm gonna make sure that the stuff that's in the center and on the very bottom of the bowl gets into the mix. And if it's really, really thick, you can always do what I'm going to do. And this is the last and final ingredient, ingredient um, which is add a little tiny bit of heavy whipping cream to make it nice and smooth. Don't put that in there because that'll actually catch on to the, um, the metal part. Here, if it goes down, Daddy can do it. Yeah, so you've got to be really careful, otherwise it'll catch. Okay, so this is your heavy whipping cream. I want you to pour just half of this in. Look, be careful. I'll sit down there and I'll hold it for you. Very careful. On. I'll tell you when to stop. And stop. Okay. So this here is half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Pour it in nice and slow. There you go. You see what it's doing to it? Yeah. It's making it nice and creamy. There we go. Alright, good job. one more time and this is just so I can do one last little stir but I want to show them the difference in the consistency now if you guys take a look I just turned the oven light on so you can see it it's really smooth on the inside now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more quick sort of stir to make sure that all of this has been what you're looking for. See that? See how it's not falling off? Yeah. Okay, so now the fun part is, and yes, you'll get to lick this, but not on camera. We don't want people to see you doing that. Um, not on camera. So the next part is always fun because this is where we get to fill the pie itself. And I don't want you to touch the, the glass because that's still a little bit on the warm side. But what you're going to do is you're going to scoop big dollops and plop it right in the center. Mm -hmm. Okay? Go ahead. Let me move you a little closer. There you go. You want to fill that puppy up. Now, for those of you who are parents who have kids who enjoy cooking, um, this new project, Cooking with William, is a spinoff of the uh, summer, or not summer reading project, but the quarantine-based uh, COVID-19, I can't go to school issue, um, educational project. It's one of many projects that he does, uh, including his math, his science, his social studies, uh, we worked on reading uh, analog clocks as well as digital clocks um, in terms of math, addition, subtraction, uh, multiple level of tra uh, uh, tra um, subtraction, make big, big bollocks, get them all in there because we don't want to uh, make the video too long. So scoop it all up. And uh, so this is a great way, also another way to teach and for our students to learn uh, by working in a kitchen. Um, and they're also helping to do something for the family. So it's lots of fun. All right, here, let me get the rest of this real quick for you. You did a great job. All right, because sometimes it gets kind of a bit of a challenge. To Can get... we make another rope video? 
Uh, that'll be next week okay. when we decide what our next uh, dish will be. And by the way, talk to them. Let them know what you thought about the voting. Go ahead, talk to them. You can talk to them while I'm doing this. So we, on the last one, my dad answered it just so quick. Like, so it was a three-way tie between all of them. But then my other dad that wasn't making this, he said to us, he said to pick peanut butter tie. So that was our last vote, and so that's the last one. Yep, and he broke the tie. But my, but he told our dog to just like <laughs> lie down if he wanted cupcakes, and and dad, and he actually lay down so. I was surprised. I know. All right, so the last little thing that we have to do before it actually goes into the refrigerator to chill is we're going to take a spoon. Can you do that thing like the two fat ladies do? Which one? Oh, that's a different kind of pie. They were actually working with a different kind of a crust. You're talking about when they were actually doing that thing along the sides. Yeah, that's a little bit different. But what we can do is this. See how I'm pulling it all the way to the edge? Oh, I'm sorry, folks. You guys can't see what we're doing. Pulling it all the way to the edge. Because we're not baking, this is a no-bake pie, uh, except for if you're baking a crust. And by the way, if you don't want to make your own crust, um, you are welcome. more than welcome to go ahead. Use the store's crust. Yeah, the store crust. That, that works just as well. So we're going to smooth this out a little bit on the top like that. And then we're done with the pie. But next, what we're going to do is make a uh, whipped topping, homemade whipped topping. That's going to go on top of the pie. So that's the next part. So we'll see you shortly. We'll be back. And this is going to be one and a half of a cup. Tell us what you're now doing. I'm gonna add the trivia. And how much is in there? Two thirds of a cup of sugar. Okay, good. And then what are you adding? One cup and a half of whipped cream. It's called heavy whipping cream. Okay, heavy whipping cream. And pour it in slowly. Make sure you get it all in there because that's a lot of goodness. Okay, now you wanna turn your blender on too. Okay, and while that's happening, you want to take that little white canister, and that's where you have your vanilla extract, which you have um, a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. I didn't pour it. That's okay. No worries. That's enough. That's fine. Um, you have a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then you have a quarter of a teaspoon of rose water, which actually brightens up the flavor a little bit. So go ahead and pour that in. And you can turn that puppy up to three now. And let her go. I'm going to dollop the whipped cream on top of the pie. All we got to do is put a little cinnamon in on top and then we are done.